Hey everybody, Johan Magnussen here, Big Sweet Barbecue, and today we're smoking a spatchcock turkey on the Memphis Wood Fire Grill. Now, turkey is a big cut of meat with a lot of volume, especially if you get one of those big, beautiful birds. And what a lot of people struggle with is that the legs, the thighs, the wings get done way before the turkey breast does. And the whole idea by spatchcocking the turkey, which is basically flattening it, is to give a better heat distribution all around it and make the bird cook more evenly. So what I did to this one, I brined it. I used a commercial brine, so I brined it for about 24 hours, but you can easily make your own. Salt, sugar, a couple of aromatics, water, dunk it in 24 hours in the fridge, and you should be good. The most important thing when you brine it though, is to thoroughly rinse it after. So I rinsed it thoroughly and I also patted it dry. And after I patted it, I let it sit outside for about an hour to air dry because a dry skin equals a little bit more crispy skin when you smoke it. The way to spatchcock a turkey is that you wanna place it breast side down and you expose the backbone of the bird. And what you want to do here is take a set of good kitchen shears and just cut on each side of the backbone. And then you put the backbone away. Now you have to look at the bird, see where it has some extra skin that you might want to trim off that doesn't really do anything to the bird. So just trim off some extra extra skin here there we go and then you want to flip the bird over and this is where we have to use gravity and a little bit of pressure because we want to break the breastbone to make it oh there we go oh there we go and that's how you have a flat bird and after you crack the breastbone you want to tuck in the wings and the legs and that's how you get a beautiful flat spatchcock turkey now when we spatchcock the turkey, it's time to really flavorize it. And we're biased, we're gonna use our Big Sweet Barbecue Badass Bird Boost, but you can basically use any commercial rub or homemade seasoning that you love for poultry. What we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it over and season the backside first and give it a heavy doses of the rub. Then we're gonna flip it over, put some rub on our hand, and we're gonna slide that hand underneath the turkey breast skin and just give the turkey breast a good seasoning. And then of course, we're seasoning over the skin as well. Now what you wanna do is you wanna let that rub sit for about 30 minutes before we uh, put it in the smoker. So it's been about 30 minutes and you could tell that the rub is really adhering to the turkey, giving it a, a beautiful color. So what we need to do is set the Memphis wood fire grill to 350 degrees using some sort of fruit wood pellet. And the only thing left before we put the bird in the grill is to prepare the roasting pan. So in the roasting pan, we have onions, carrots, and celery. You also wanna add some aromatics like uh, thyme, uh, rosemary or, or sage. We're also gonna add some chicken broth to it. Now, this does three things for us. It will keep the bird moist during the cook. It will give us a good base for making a wonderful gravy. And also placing the bird on the veggies will lift it up and provide better air circulation and a better even cook. Place the turkey on the roasting pan, put everything in the grill and insert the meat probe into one of the turkey breasts. So what we're gonna do now is roast the turkey for about two to three hours or until the internal temperature in the turkey breast reaches 165 degrees. In order to get that really gold and crispy skin that you want in the turkey, we're gonna baste it with duck fat spray or some butter about every 30 minutes or so. So we measured the temperature in the turkey breast. It was sitting at 165, so it was time to take out the turkey. Now you wanna let the turkey rest for a couple of minutes before we slice it up and see what it tastes like. So that is how you make a smoky and super juicy spatchcock turkey on the Memphis Wood Fire Grill. If you like this recipe, please subscribe to Memphis Grill's YouTube channel or check out their website, www.memphisgrills.com for more recipes like this. And I think the only thing for me left to do is to check and see if we have a winner. 
Mm. Bite through skin, tons of flavor. You get a good smokiness. And man, this is a juicy and moist turkey. Hope you enjoy this recipe and happy grilling.